The pattern's not a perfect copy, but it is the general size and color as the golden stoneflies the trout are currently feeding on. For today's video, I'm excited to go fly fishing with you on my all-time favorite river. I'm out here in Central Oregon on the Metolius River. This river is world famous for fly fishing, but it's also known for being very challenging. The trout here are native red band trout, and they see flies all the time. So they're educated and wary, and you have to be on your A game to catch one. But I'm gonna show you some tricks on how to trick these trout. It has several hatches on this river, including golden stones and mayflies. So we're gonna catch some golden stone flies right on the bushes, tie up a fly right by the river, and try to catch a trout. Now, 20 years ago, I got to work here in the fly shop and store, and I got to fish it every day. So I used to really know this river well and how to catch the fish. But it's been 20 years, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. Let's go see if we can tie up a fly and catch a trout. So the food source we're going to try to copy with our fly are these. They're known as golden stones, and they have a pretty consistent hatch here on the Metolius. And these ones right here are mating, and then the females will fly on the water and drop the eggs down into the water. And as they float on the water, they flutter and the fish love them. It's like fish candy. They come to the surface and grab these. So we're gonna tie up a fly that looks like a golden stone on the Metolius riverbanks here. You'll just find the vegetation covered with them. So here's what the skin casing looks like when it molts. It comes out of the water as a juvenile. It opens up the back and climbs out like a banana. And the adults look very orange. That's why they call it a golden stone. They have these big lacy wings. So the fish see that golden color and the lacy wings on top of the water and they come up and grab it. So we're going to tie a fly that looks like a golden stone. For the wings we're going to use elk hair or deer hair and we'll use orange color yarn for the body. Okay I have my fly tying vise all hooked to a branch out here right by the river. We're going to use yellow thread get that started. Now I'm going to wrap some of this orange yarn right here. I'm going to trim it off. Then I'm going to trim some deer hair for the wings. And finally up front, I'll wrap a chicken feather. And finally, we'll finish off our fly with a whip finish. Now I did tie this fly up very quickly because I want to go fishing. The pattern's not a perfect copy, but it is the general size and color as the golden stoneflies the trout are currently feeding on. Now to be legal on the Metolius, it's catch and release only and I do have to pinch down that barb. Then we'll tie up our fly and see if we can trick a trout. So here's a nice deep hole. We're going to test out our stonefly. The water's pretty fast along this ledge that makes eddies and it should be a good feeding place for the trout. So we're just going to float our stonefly right on the surface, see if they'll come up and grab it. I'm going to hold the tip of my rod pretty high and only have the fly floating on the water, not the line. Haha! <laughs> Look at that huge fish! Woo! That was like uh, maybe three inches. I'm surprised it grabbed that fly. Hey, first fish. I'm surprised such a tiny fish could even grab such a big hook. I had a fish already try to take it, but it spit it back out. We'll try that again. That's a good sign. They came up from the bottom, seen that fly, and tried to grab it. Hey, we got one. 
He's jumping. In the net. Well, look at this gorgeous red band rainbow trout. It couldn't resist the fly we tied up on the bank right there, a golden stonefly. It rose and grabbed it. I'm gonna let this go because it's a native trout, it's catch and release only, and I don't wanna stress it out. So let's set it free. Well, we've been fishing for several hours. I caught that tiny one that got off. Also, we landed one, a really beautiful red band rainbow, and I missed several strikes. So one fish isn't bad. I really enjoyed being back out here. If you like these fly fishing videos, leave a comment down below and I'll do more of them. Thank you so much for watching and your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button and we'll have a Mousetrap Monday video on Monday and future videos of outdoors, including hiking, fly fishing, hunting, primitive archery skills. Thank you so much for all your support and I look forward to making more videos for you. Thanks for watching.